a lot of my work in SSC is focused around the conservation and use of plant resources. Through my traffic head, um, it is looking overall at how legal trade and use in wild resources, whether it's fish, timber, uh, medicinal plants or other species, can be done sustainably and equitably. With my um, medicinal plant specialist group hat on, um, it's a very special group. Um, we look after a fascinating number and diversity of species that are not taxonomically defined in any particular way or geographically. It is about the usefulness and the benefit of this species that bring to people. So, for of this 26,000 species, only about 17 to 20 percent of them have been assessed against the IUCN red list. So the simple answer in terms of where the threat is, is we have no idea. Yeah. So this is one of the big challenges that we're trying to address and have actually developed really great collaborations with botanic gardens, uh, with conservation agencies to try and address it and, and drive forward conservation. You know, what the, the resources we talk about are in global supply chains. So we speak about um, shampoos in your bathroom, uh, purple tea in your cupboards, um, fizzy drink that you're drinking um, that contain wild plant ingredients. There is a lot that consumers can do and public can do in order to kind of take a proactive action. We want people to open their cupboards, think about their shopping carts and try to figure out which of these products contain wild plant ingredients. I can promise you it's not easy. No. Because they're not marked as wild ingredients, they're not marked as, well, they're not almost never marked as sustainable, but look out for fair wild trademark. Um, so I think the opportunity is to challenge ourselves, use our smartphones so that we have access to, take a picture of it and you know put a hashtag I found wild. Okay. We'd like to see the world populated with I found wild hashtag okay. because this is about in the first and foremost it's about celebrating the nature that we already live with so closely. You go to your kitchen, bathroom, shop, you interact with nature through these products. And the next thing you want to do is then think, well, where does it actually come from? What are the stories behind it? How does it connect to those local communities through these complicated supply chains? And how we can drive industry to change? We need a lot more action from the industry, and I, but I think that the public can play an important role. One initiative we've set up is called Wild at Home, which is very proactive. Um, so look on the website, look for Wild at Home and Fair Wild. We're trying to drive the action forward in the next year or so around some of the kind of flagship species in this trade. So to try and help consumers, to try and help industry as well, to understand the risks and opportunities and also tap into this issue of how do we actually know it's in here? Because I think unless we unpack this, unless we understand that products we consume are coming from the wild, I don't think we can actually drive the change forward. You need to know before you relate to it, you relate to those stories and can take an action. It's true, great. So look at the ingredients that you have at home and look for the Fair Wild certificate to make sure it's sustainable. Conservation works. Proda Corona Pratsuya.